Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 11. The word that came to El Yermiyahu from Yahuwah, saying, Hear ye at the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Yahuda, and to the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and say you unto them, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadel, Cursed be the man that obeys not the words of this covenant, which I commanded at your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Mitzrayim from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you. So shall ye be my people, and I will be your Elohim, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn eth unto your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Yahuwah. Then Yahuwah said unto me, Proclaim eth all these words in the cities of Yahuda and in the streets of Yerushalayim, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Mitzrayim, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined at their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them at all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And Yahuwah said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Yehuda and among the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear at my words, and... They went after other Elohim to serve them. The house of Yashadael and the house of Yehuda have broken eth my covenant, which I made with eth their fathers. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. And then shall the cities of Yehuda and inhabitants of Yerushalayim go and cry unto the Elohim, unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of your cities were your Elohim, O Yehuda, and according to the number of the streets of Yerushalayim have ye set up altars, to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense to Baal. Therefore, pray not you for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What has my beloved to do in my house, seeing she has wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from you? When you do evil, then you rejoice. Yahuwah called your name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he has kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For Yahuwah Savoth that planted you has pronounced evil against you, for the evil of the house of Yashadel, and of the house of Yahuda, which they have done against themselves, to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. And Yahuwah has given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then you showed me their doings, but I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter, and I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But 
O Yahuwah Sevaot, that judge righteously, that try the mind and the heart. Let me see your vengeance on them, for unto you have I revealed at my cause. Therefore thus says Yahuwah of the men of Anathoth, that seeketh your life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of Yahuwah, that you die not by our hand. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth even the year of their visitation.